All right, hi guys, and welcome to your class. And today's theming is going to be around Aries season. So Aries is a cardinal fire sign, which means it is the initiation of a new season. And the fire sign, which you can kind of, I guess, gather the qualities of what a fire sign is, it's action, it's movement, it's kind of that heat burning within you, desire, creativity, and so forth. So we sometimes can naturally move into these seasons, just, we just flow there. And sometimes we really need to kick ourselves in the butt into action. So in saying that, we are going to get really real with ourselves and honor where we are. We're gonna release what is no longer serving us, limiting beliefs, actions, habits, things, places, people, anything that isn't gonna help you get to where you wanna go in the next year to come. And then we're gonna make the commitment within ourselves and stick with the commitments so that shows up in like embodiment and really like feeling those feelings of what it would be like to have, to feel, to be um, what it is you're calling in and desiring. So we're going to begin today's class in a seated position and whatever you, that looks like for you so you can cross the legs, you can be kneeling, you can prop yourself up onto a seat, it's totally up to you. And just start to feel your hips grounded into the earth. Thighs heavy. Start to smooth out your breath. Allow the shoulders to fall. Using the breath as an anchor and to clear out any mind clutter. Finding spaciousness in your mind. With every exhale, letting anything go that you need to. Every inhale, bringing in a sense of calm, clarity, and ease. Then bringing the hands to heart center. And we're gonna do a meditation on where we are now. So I often like to bring my age into my mind. I'm just paying a close attention to everything that is real and true to me now. The good and the bad. The regrets, the failures, the successes. And just sinking into the present moment of what that is. And coming to a sense of clarity, equanimity, and ease of contentment. So whether you have many highs or many lows throughout the last year, come to a place from your heart space, from truth, of who you really are. And then we're going to bring in a few things that we want to cultivate, bring in the next year ahead. So whether that be a quality of confidence, of clarity, creativity, action, joy, happiness, Whatever that is for you, just bring that word into your mind. And then try to fully embody that word. So when you say clarity, for example, what would it feel like to be clear? If you said happiness, what would that feel like? Joy, and et cetera. and start to blink the eyes open. Then we're gonna meet on all fours position. So meeting on your hands and knees, wrists underneath the shoulders, the knees underneath the hips. And we're just gonna move from side to side. So looking over your right shoulder, 
and then looking over your left. Right. And then left. Coming back to neutral, a few cat cows, so dropping the belly, lifting the gaze, keeping a long and neutral neck, and then rounding, so pressing the floor away from you, curving up at the spine into your cat, moving through cow, shoulders gently retract on the back body, so shoulders can slightly squeeze together length and soften the belly. Exhale, low belly draws in, curving up at the spine and protracting the shoulders. So creating space in the shoulders. And then finding a neutral position, bring the right toes back to the back of the mat and start to flex and engage the right glute, the hamstring, pointed flex or flex your foot. And then lift the right leg just about maybe half a foot to a foot off the earth. So not arcing and um, creating compression in the low back, just keep it neutral. Maybe even a slight internal rotation. And then release it down. Switch sides, left leg out. Raise the left leg, engaging the entire leg, maybe slight internal rotation. And then lower. Switch sides, this time draw the low belly in, keeping a neutral through the spine, crown of the head, right leg back, left arm forward this time. Again, low belly draws in, feeling into core integration, and then release, switch sides. Release and switch. Inhale, extend, and exhale, release. Moving slow and controlled, raising end in the lower. One more each side. Tuck the toes, send the hips back, downward facing dog. Pedal out the feet. Bend the knees and look forward, and we're gonna just tippy toe to the front of the mat. Bend the knees generously and shake your head side to side. And see if you can let go of something just a little bit more. And drawing your attention to your feet. Press your feet firmly into the ground, lifting the inner arches of the feet, pressing into the earth, and then lift halfway so that you're in like an L shape, shifting slightly forward onto the toes so that your hips are stacked above your heels. Exhale, lower. Inhale, halfway lift length through the crown of the head and exhale lower so slowly starting to wake up the body inhale arms sweep all the way up overhead and exhale hands to heart center shift forward onto the toes lifting the heels and then release back down and finding a point of equal standing in the left and the right foot gentle tuck in the tail feeling the palms touching one another, pressing firmly into the ground and raising up through the legs, the spine, the crown of the head. Inhale, arms up, and exhale, hands touch the earth. Right leg steps back, right knee lowers down, drawing the right hip forward, left hip back. Isometrical movement to gain a strong foundation. Inhale, arms sweep up. Breathe in and soften. Grabbing hold of the right arm with the left hand. Inhale, arcing up and exhale over to the left. Low ribs in, left hip back. Inhale, coming back to center, releasing the hands down to the earth. Step the left leg back, high plank. Option to lower the knees, chaturanga. 
Inhale, Upward or Cobra. And exhale, making your way back down to Downward Facing Dog. Right leg steps forward in between your hands. You can grab hold of it to bring it there. Left knee lowers. Inhale, arms sweep up. Right hip back, left hip forward. Soften. Grabbing hold of the left hand with the right wrist. Inhale, reaching up and exhale, softening over to the right. Inhale back to center, plant the hands, step back, high plank through low plank, upward or cobra, and exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, look forward, step to the front of the mat, inhale, halfway lift, lengthen through the spine, and exhale, folding inward. Root to rise, arms sweep up, and exhale, hands to heart center. Anchor down, inhale, arms up, Slight back bend and fold in. Halfway lift, step back, high plank, through low plank. Cobra or upward dog. And exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg steps, reaches back towards the back of the mat, back of the room, and then square off the right hip down. So your legs might not lift the same height and that is okay, that's actually better. Then really flexing out through the entire right leg, the glute, low belly draws in, and then knee to nose. So hugging in, pressing the floor away from you. So you're protracting around the shoulders and then step the right foot in between the legs. Slight bend in the back knee, inhale, arms up to crescent. Exhale, hands to heart, leaning forward at the torso and then twisting to the right, elbow on the right knee. Creating resistance by pressing the palms together, length through the entire spine, back leg is fired up and strong. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, hands down, step back, high plank through low plank, inhale upward or cobra, and exhale, low belly draws in to bring you back into downward dog. Left leg raises, squaring off your left hip, knee to nose, pressing the floor away from you, hugging in, left foot plants down, bring it where you need to. Gentle bend in the right knee, really grounding down into your foundation, feel yourself weighted, and then raising up with control. Breathe in, exhale, hands to heart center, then twisting to the left. Length through the spine, firing up your back leg, then releasing out of the twist, arms up. Exhale, hands to earth. Left leg back, high to high through low. Upward or cobra. And exhale, down dog. Bend the knees, look forward. Make your way forward. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, folding all the way down to the mat. Sitting back, drawing the knees and towards one another, gently rocking side to side. Right knee in, left leg extends out long. Then bringing the right leg across to the left side into a gentle twist. And three breaths here, what do you need to release? What limiting beliefs? What blocks are you still holding on to that really just aren't helping you anymore? Coming back to center, 
drawing your knees in towards your chest, right leg extends out long, left knee drawing over to the right side. And with all everything aside, what would you like to draw in to create, to cultivate, even if you're not quite there yet? Coming back to center, and then both knees draw in towards you. You can hug in tightly. And then release out long, arms down by your side. Feeling your entire body soft and in corpse pose or shavasana. We're given time to really integrate the learnings of the practice. To soften and to release. So when we wake, we can come back embodied more wise with all the learnings that we received. Then rolling over to one side, gently pressing yourself up into a seated position. Inhale, arms sweep up overhead. And exhale, hands to heart center. Exhale out the mouth. One more time, just like that. Inhale, arms sweep up. And exhale. Stacking the heart over the hips and the head in one long line. Feel yourself soft, aware, clear, content. Thank you for practicing and namaste.